Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are tracking a lot of heavy showers and thunderstorms starting to move into portions of our viewing area and we're already tracking some strong thunderstorms right now in northern sections of the viewing area, mainly around Farmerville starting to move into southern areas of Arkansas. Now, the main concern is really going to be strong gusty winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour and flash flooding. We've already had one severe thunderstorm warning issued just to the south of Longview, Texas, and a couple of flash flood warnings have already been issued in parts of Arkansas and also near that severe thunderstorm warning out near Texas. Zooming a little bit in, we had one strong storm move just to the northeast of Farmerville. It's starting to move out of Union Parish and starting to move into Union County, just to the east of El Dorado. We're going to see a lot more of these storms beginning to pop up over the course of the next couple of hours into the latter half of this morning. Now, flash flooding will possibly be a concern, especially later on this afternoon. An aerial flood watch has been issued for a good chunk of the Arc Limits area, and flood warnings have also already been issued for southern areas of Arkansas. Taking a look back, we do have those flash flood warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings right now in parts of Texas. This will be the part of the same storm system that will make its way across Louisiana and we could pick up on two to three inches of rainfall which prompts the aerial flood watch that has been issued. Here is the severe weather outlook. We do have a marginal risk that does extend over a good chunk of the area. Like I said, our main concern are going to be the possibility of 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. We could see some lightning with these storms as well and we could possibly see that flash flooding risk. Now, right now, we're currently at 73 degrees here in Monroe. We've got overcast conditions. The rain is starting to pick up a little bit. Winds are currently calm right now, about 5 miles per hour. Most everyone's waking up to temperatures, mainly in the lower 70s at 71. In southern Arkansas, Camden's at 72. It's also 71 over in Ruston. As the kids are heading out to the bus stop, definitely have that rain jacket or umbrella because we're going to deal with some heavy showers. And then those thunderstorms will start moving in by the early half of this afternoon. Definitely going to be weather aware because we're going to see those storms start to really ramp up and potentially bring some strong gusty winds. Now about four o'clock and onward, that's when the rain will start letting up a little bit and most of the activity should be on out of here by the time we get to six and seven o'clock later on this evening. Taking a look at the future tracker, that dry line is still pretty strong just off to the west in parts of Texas. It's been capping a lot of moisture in our area and any little bit of instability that we've had has been sparking these showers and thunderstorms. Now that dry line is going to move just a little bit closer to us and as we get closer into the weekend, we could see a big spark up of more showers and thunderstorms out in parts of Texas and that could once again linger back into our area and we could pick up on more showers and thunderstorms as we head into Monday and kick off the early part of next week. Taking a bit closer look, by 6 o'clock this morning, everyone's going to pick up on some rainfall and heavy rain and thunderstorms. By the latter half of this morning, it's going to be really be picking up. We could pick up on several inches of rainfall, especially between Shreveport and Ruston. Then by 3 o'clock, the heaviest rain should be on out of here. And once we hit 4 o'clock onward and head into the evening hours, it's still going to be mostly cloudy, but the rain will be mostly on out of here. Temperatures will be mainly in the 70s and upper 60s. It's going to be mostly cloudy as we kick off tomorrow morning. Rain chances won't be as high for our Friday, but still can't be ruled out because we still have enough moisture in place and instability could possibly spark up a few light showers possible as we close out this week. Now this model is being a little aggressive, but we could still pick up on three to possibly four inches of rainfall and a little bit heavier from Ruston towards Shreep where it kind of straddles just south of I-20 and we could pick up on just over two inches of rainfall even here in Monroe. So be careful in avoiding low-lying areas, especially for this afternoon. We'll say high of 77 degrees here in Monroe with strong thunderstorms. Won't be as warm as it has been. Tonight we'll see a low of 69 degrees. going to remain mostly cloudy. Rain chances will stay around 20%. Then as we look at the seven-day forecast, we'll be a bit drier as we head into the latter half of this weekend. A few storms could still be possible on Saturday, but it's going to be much warmer and humid as we could hit the 90s on Sunday, but a few storms still possible into the middle half of next week.